Hey everyone, this is Dr. David Song at the Rehab Hero Clinic. Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be going over desk stretches and a mo mobility flow. It's going to be a follow along so you can follow along with me if you've been working away for a lot of hours at your desk, particularly on a laptop or desktop. Uh, give yourself a break and try out this routine. So let's get started. What you're going to start to do is Use your hands, you want to cup, uh, bring them together with your fingertips and place them on your collarbone right along the inner aspect of it. From here, you're going to lean your head away from your contact point. This is going to target your SCM muscle and scalenes. We're going to hold a stretch for about three to five breaths. And you're going to stop and we're going to try the other side here. Good, and we'll hold that stretch for three to five breaths. And we're going to do about three repetitions on each side, just to make sure we got a good amount of mobility through these tissues. So we're gonna start with the neck first today, and we're gonna work our way down to the hips and thighs. And switch sides. Really pay attention to which side feels tighter to you. You'll feel the stretch along the front part of your neck, even a small pull into the face if the muscle or fascia is really restricted. And stretch to the other side. Hold it for about three seconds or so. And switch over. If any of these stretches feel particularly effective to you, feel free to pause the video at any time and do a few more repetitions and then press play to continue the stretches. All right, so the next muscle we're going to target is your levator scapulae. You're going to take your right hand, anchor it down to the bottom of your chair. You're going to rotate your head 45 degrees away from that arm. And you're just going to grab the back of your head here and pull it into the opposite uh, armpit. And we're going to switch sides, rotate your head, anchor your hand down. To, and holding the bottom of your chair is really to keep the shoulders low so you could increase the amount of stretch that we're feeling into this levator scat muscle. And we're going to go for three repetitions. Pay attention to how you're breathing and how your muscles respond with each breath. Try to focus on getting the muscles to relax with every exhale that you take. Let's switch sides. Pay attention to which side feels tighter. And if that normally feels tighter when you're working or if it's actually the opposite side, that often feels tighter when you're working and switch once again. Quite often, actually, the tight side or the side that feels tight when you stretch it out is the side that doesn't feel any symptoms when you're doing any work. And switch sides and pull down. So with a very similar setup, we'll be targeting the upper trapezius muscle. Uh, this time you'll be rotating your head towards the arm that's anchored down. You can play your head straight down towards your chest. You can play with the rotation of your neck to see which position feels the best for you. But it's usually roughly about a 30 to 45 degree angle towards the arm in terms of rotation. We're gonna hold this for three to five breaths once again. And switch sides. So while you're breathing during these exercises, it's recommended to just take regular breath. You don't need to do super deep breaths. Just breathe normally. And switch sides.
All right, so next we're just going to move on to an activation exercise for your upper trapezius muscle. You want to raise both hands up into that air. You want to shrug your shoulders up. And then you're going to relax your arms and shoulders. You want to go again. Shut your shoulders up. And back down. We're going to go for one more. And squeeze. Make sure you while you're doing these contractions. And back down from here. You're just going to place your hands behind your head here. You're going to shoot your elbows forward. Bring them close together and curl your upper back and neck. Feel the stretch in your rhomboids and upper trapezius. And then you're going to contract your shoulder blades back. Open up your elbows by flaring them up. Keep your lower ribs down so you don't want to be puffing the chest up towards the ceiling. Curl everything back down. We're going to do three repetitions of this as well. And squeeze everything back. Squeeze those shoulder blades back, elbows back. Low, lower ribs anchored down using your abs. Last repetition here. And you're going to pull everything back one more time. We're going to modify this exercise. We're going to do a modified Brugger's. You want to shoot your hands forward now, and rotate your thumbs down towards the ceiling. You want to curl your neck and upper back, stretch forward with your fingertips as far as you can. Hold this for up to five seconds. And then you're going to do the exact opposite. You're going to externally rotate your hands and shoulders, squeeze your shoulder blades back and hold a chin tuck. And we're going to go back forward, stretch out those rhomboids and upper trapezius muscles by protracting the shoulder blades. And you're going to squeeze everything back once again. Make sure to keep those lower ribs down. You don't want to be, you don't want to be hinging with your low back. Try to keep those low back muscles out of the equation right now. And back for one more repetition here. Get your fingertips go forward as far as possible. Head down. And back to the retracted position. Last one for five seconds. Great. We're going to do a simple lat stretch. This will target your QL and obliques as well. Raise one arm up into the air. Your other arm will just be kind of guided by your the chair chair's leg. And you can hold it for added support if you need to. You're just going to lean to the side. Now if your chair has armrests that block your path, you can actually just support your non-stretched arm on that armrest and lean over that. It actually feels better that way. Pay attention to which part of your lateral line is experiencing the stretch the most. Make sure that when you're doing this stretch, we're going to switch over now, that you keep your pelvis and butt on the chair. Feel the muscles relax into the stretch with each exhale. Raise the left arm up, lean to the side, and hold. All right, so in a similar motion, we're gonna have one arm up in the air, one arm in front of you, and we're going to do a stretch for rotation. The top arm is gonna be continually reaching as high as possible, whereas the left arm at this point will be rotating to the opposite side, as you feel stretching your obliques, your lats, 
the QL. And back the other way. Raise our arm up and rotate the spline. And back over. Make sure that you're breathing through these motions. But now they're difficult to hold because they are effort based, which means you only go as far as you can manage to do comfortably or within your tolerable limits. And one more repetition to the other side. Right arm up, left arm reaching to the opposite side. And last one, last arm up, right arm reaching to the opposite side. All right. Now we're going to involve our low back. We're going to bend over so that one hand is palming on the floor. Use the other hand to reach towards the ceiling and hold this position. You can actually use the forearm of the arm that's planted to help push you into a deeper rotation by pushing it against uh, the inner aspect of your shin. Pay attention to which side feels tighter. And if that's the side that you usually feel any achiness, or discomfort. As I mentioned, I often find the opposite side is tighter than the affected side. And this is because muscles tend to only experience symptoms when they're under a lot of tension. Being in a stretched position. All right, one more on each side. Let's go back, rotating up with your left arm. And back over, left hand planted, right hand rotating up. All right. Now you're just going to Place one knee on top of the other with the support of your shin. And you're just going to use that as an anchor point and rotate your low back and hold. You can use the backrest of your chair for added support. And we're going to switch sides up and rotate. Pay attention to which side feels tighter. Some people might even feel this in the glute, the low back, depending on how tight you are, even into the inner thigh. Pay attention to whether a muscle is feeling like it's going to cramp out. If it is, you can always back off. Let it relax and try it again. If it still cramps up, you might just not be ready yet. So that's okay. You just try again the next day. And rotate. Perfect. Next, we're going to stretch out the glute using the figure four stretch. Place one ankle on the opposite knee. Push down the knee that's bent and lean forward at the hips. Now, if you really want to, you can involve your back to get more of a posterior chain stretch by curling it up. Or if you just want to isolate the hip, you can keep the low back straight and just lean forward. Neither one is more correct or the other. It just depends on what your goals are. And switch. And pay attention to the muscles relaxing as you exhale. You should find that you're able to lean further and further forward with each repetition. And we'll switch sides and repeat. Now we want to target the glutes because we sit on them all day. 
And so we're just trying to get some movement back in them, really. We're not trying to necessarily loosen them up. We're just trying to promote some movement. Here we have our last rep on the right leg. And we'll switch over to the left side. Once again, lean forward. Now if you've been liking this mobility flow so far, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right, so next we're going to target the hamstrings and calves. You're going to scooch on up to the edge of your chair. Keep one leg straight out in front of you. The other one can just be relaxed. And you're just going to reach for your toes. And while you're in the stretch position, just take a deep breath and let your body naturally fall into a deeper stretch. Try not to bob back and forth. You know, the whole purpose of a stretching routine is to get the muscles to relax. So if you're finding that you have to bob back and forth to deepen the stretch, you're really missing the point of what the stretch is for. It's not to feel the stretch, it's to get the muscle to relax during the stretch. That's the goal of stretching. Switch sides, pay attention to which side feels tighter, whether or not it's the calf, the hamstring, or right behind the knee. And switch sides, knee forward and stretch. Great, last repetition on the right leg. We're almost done. At this point, your body should feel pretty warmed up. And we're going to switch sides and stretch out. You should find that you could go deeper than the first set, or you could go just as deep with it feeling less intense. And we're done. So I hope you guys liked this video and enjoyed the mobility flow content. I know a lot of you out there are working very hard from your homes. And so this is just to help with the muscle tightness that you're feeling. I know a lot of people can't make time to see the therapist, especially with the pandemic. So I really hope that this is going to give you some relief of the aches and pains that you're experiencing. If you have any questions about this video, or if you want to see a video for another body part or joint, leave a comment below and I'll see what I can do. If you enjoy this channel, please subscribe. I appreciate your support. I'll see you guys next time.